Yeah, we are with another freaking video. Guys, guess what we have up today? Just something what a is little it? different for you guys. What? Inside the world's most expensive home. We always thought cool. We love to react to stuff like this. Um, I mean, we love to even watch this because if y'all don't know, we, we do a lot of visualizations and we watch stuff like this all the time. So if you can see it, you can be it, you can attract it, you can achieve it, you know, all of it. that good stuff. And you know, we are really big on setting goals and knocking stuff out. But this is how, if whatever it is you really want to come into manifestation, guys, you have to bring it into your psyche and into your atmosphere. So, and that house is 340 million. Okay. That house. This is dope. A 340 like, million dollar house. This is humongous. I think that is a bit much for. Me, one one crib, yeah. But I still like looking at it. Man, you I have can get I can ideas have, for your own just by looking at this. I have so many investment properties for. Oh, of course. I have, I own I own a whole Most state. Most definitely, <laughs> right, right, right. Don't tell me hit the button. Hit the I button. broke your nail. The button. There's a new mansion on the LA market, uh -oh. a one of a kind residence that double bills as the world's largest and the most expensive wow. residence. And get this, no its magnificence market. will never be seen in Los Angeles again, which yeah. is why it has garnered the nickname, The One. You can't get much more exclusive than this, people. It's a record-breaking estate that will leave your jaw on the floor and wow. your wallet completely empty. Today, we're taking a look at the most expensive home ever built and what makes it so darn pricey. Wow. Bruh. Because look, I bet it's, it looks like it's surrounded with water. I bet they have waterfalls going down. If you saw in the front yard, you saw those little things that look like water would be coming out. Plus, you probably got a massive amount of acreage land. You have to have, keep it maintained. Ooh, I bet you the monthly maintenance is probably on six figures yes. to maintain it. Just. So, how did this majestic manor come to manifest? The majestic manor. Just where in the heck is What's it that located? On top? The idea to build not only the largest, but the most expensive home in existence is the brainchild of architect Paul McLean okay. and interior designer Catherine Ooh, Rotundi. Look at that. As the story goes, owner and developer Niall Niami reached out to them and swore them to secrecy. The goal was to surprise the world with this state-of-the-art, beautiful, and one-of-a-kind home. And wow. when we how many think how many people chandelier. on the planet think that just got like really afford it? I mean, billionaires, I'm sure. Yeah. There's probably many people that can afford that house. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, though. Why is it empty, though? Like, I wonder. <laughs> I don't know. Three million. I'd rather my stuff. It wouldn't be up in Bel Air. It ain't looking at no water. No. You know. We say one of a kind, we mean that literally. Look at that See, thing out there. McLean and Rotundi's masterpiece has been lovingly dubbed The One. Yes, the name usually reserved for Neo from The Matrix and Jet Li from his 2001 martial arts thriller will now and forever be associated with a house. But wow. this is no wow. ordinary house, folks. And we guarantee once you take a step inside, you'll believe this place really is wow. The One. Whoa. From the beginning, <laughs> the team was stoked about the project. To quote McLean, this project felt exciting and simultaneously intimidating. And when he embarked on the journey of designing the one, he said he wanted to create something unique and spectacular. Right. And that's exactly what he, what did. he did. From the right. beginning, this estate was bound to be something special. I wonder how much it took them to build it. If they sell it for 340. Probably took $50 million just to build a thing. No, probably more than that. Of course. Took the team around eight million. years to construct. Eight and years. altogether, an estimated 600 workers were hired to bring it to life. Their hard work sits on a beautiful five-acre plot of land in the exclusive enclave of L.A.'s Bel Air. Five and acres. before you even Dang step much. inside, you'll see that the one has a 360 degree panoramic view of the magnificent Pacific Ocean, downtown LA, and majestic San Gabriel Mountains. Driving up to the house, you'll be greeted not only by a moat, but sculptures and a personal bridge. To quote McLean, Is that worth it to you? For three feet? I mean, let me keep looking. Water is something mountains, we often oceans, use in our design process because it allows for a sensory change that helps you adjust to your surroundings. 
be sure to take note of the 30 foot high palm trees that I crest one them. of the many pools you'll find on the property. After all, they cost an estimated $400 a tree. Glance oh, wow. just to the side of this chateau and you'll see a 400 foot jogging track. These cost an estimated wow. $1 million in the United States. The home itself was a designed so track. that the inside and the outside could coexist. McLean wanted whoever lives here to enjoy what it means to live in okay, LA, see, but look. on a much. So you get to see the ocean and and the mountains and the city. Wow. Wow. That's dope. That is. That's right now. That's Beverly Hills right down now. Um, edge of Beverly Hills when you're going out. Like when you headed back to um, LA. Much bigger scale. His brilliant floor plan allowed for, get this, 42 bathrooms, 21 bedrooms, a 5,500 square foot master bedroom, and a 30 car garage. Who in the hell is going to live there? You cannot <laughs> tell me one person just being that chiller. I mean, this that should be like a, an you, Airbnb resort type of vibe. Baby, you could sleep in a, a damn near a, a one bedroom a month. Every month, I sleep in this one on, on, on the 22nd. Wow, that's dope. But that's so Comple much. Complete with two turntables to show off the owner's hottest rides. There are five swimming pools, techno gym equipment for all at-home workout needs, a 10,000-foot wow. sky deck, a philanthropy wing, which wow. is billed as a 200-person capacity room for charity galas wow. that also contain floating pods that overlook the gorgeous LA skyline wow. and a four-lane bowling alley, spa, and 30-seat movie theater. Mind blown. You got. So, I mean, this has to be like a, a house just for entertainment, for parties, or for like, I don't know. But that is like a lot that's, for uh, just two people to live in. That house is like, that house like a small size city. I know. Blown yet? No? Well, wait till you get a load of Rotundi's interior design. Step inside and you'll see where Rotundi's genius shines. Right off the bat, you'll be greeted by a custom white Murano chandelier with it. an estimated cost of $2,730. You'll also notice a sculpture entitled Unity. It's an 11 foot tall rotating white sculpture by Mike Fields. Black, white, and gray color palettes were used throughout wow. the entire home so that there's not distraction from That's the crazy 360 right degree up. panoramic view that we were talking about. That's crazy. Rotundi wow. wanted to make sure that there were distinctive spaces throughout the mansion that simultaneously flowed into one another. Rotundi was quoted as saying, Damn. I was really drawn to the wow factor elements in the hospitality sector. Inspiration was drawn from some of the world's top luxury hotel brands, exactly, including like Bulgari, Amman, yeah, and Baccarat. Throughout the residence, a... soft textures as well as soft lighting will have you melting into your surroundings and making you feel a sense of inner peace. Ooh, that's like, nice. Yeah, charge people just to come over and come see you. Be like, I mean... hey, you want to come see me for the day? It probably it'll cost you about twenty. Uh, that's eight like thousand, a, eight thousand. Come see me for the day. A luxury hotel. I mean, you want to rent that for a weekend or something? Oh my gosh. A or one, rent a four. A, 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 a probably a weekend. Rent a four. A, a weekend is probably what? I five, can only two imagine. Million, two five million dollars for the weekend. It could. It could. That's humongous. Five million dollars, boy. Uh, we gonna go straight slap crazy up in there. <laughs> Nowhere else in LA. Ooh, yes, the idea to go up. this route was inspired by the work of the Tom Ford Boutique on Rodeo Drive. We'd say the one certainly does it justice. Throughout the home, you will also see a rather impressive collection of art. Bond, this is James due Bond. to the designers collaborating with wow, creative the art partners, so as said. well as art angles. Wow. On the lower level, you'll see a butterfly installation by Stephen Wilson. And in the study, you'll see a Nicholas Costello custom panel in black and silver. The library contains custom-made LED and black liquor shelving from Italy. And keep an eye on the furniture. It's custom-made and by showroom. Oh, and we're not even close to done yet. If you're a lover of liquor, then be sure to check out the personal tequila bar. The custom creation includes a smoked mirror backsplash, marble countertops, and more tequila on display than most of us drink in a year. Wow. I mean. Wow. This is like a house like for entertaining, for galas, for 
corporate events big for your massive big ball, kind of joint. You know, CEOs of these for sure. Fortune 500 companies. I mean, absolutely. Well, most of us need your hair done. There's a full service beauty salon that will have you primed and ready for your night in the city. Staying in? Be sure to stroll down your own personal art gallery with custom. What an elevator! I ain't seen That's an elevator like a resort. Yet. It really is. Yeah. It's Curated like a artworks resort. by creative art partners. Wow. We can't so... stress it enough. They named this place the one for a reason. It's wow. truly one of a kind. But here's our final fact that is sure to leave your jaw on the floor. The nickname The One is literal. As in, there will never ever be another home like this produced in LA. Recent city ordinances have made it illegal to produce another residence of this magnitude in <laughs> I LA bet. ever yeah. again. The One will forever be the only home of this size, wow. of this grace, and in this location. And it's asking price? A whopping $340 million. Wow. At that amount of dough, the one tops all other places on the market, and it sits at the tippy top of the list as the most expensive home ever constructed in America. Wow. But get this, the original listing price was even higher. At first, the home was $500 million. Wow. Yes, the sellers were looking to make this place a little bit more affordable for all the hardworking class folks out there. <laughs> Child, please, none of them walking Ooh, is getting it. Oh, he said for the hardworking class folks and out there. You would never okay. work hard enough for that. That's, that, that takes creativity, sacrifice, and hella investments. Ain't gonna, you ain't gonna never go you clock in no job, go for nothing like that, ever in your life. On. You yeah. need a CEO can't afford that. A dream. Go for your dream. If you can't tell that was sarcasm, then we don't even know. What <laughs> we could Brandon tell, bro. and Rainey Williams of the Beverly Hills Estates are the realtors you want to talk to if you are interested in purchasing the one. Oh, let's call This Brandon, duo then. is big in L.A. They've been involved in the selling of some of the most Look expensive and beautiful properties that That's the town fire. has to offer. Some of their record sales include a $110 million Malibu deal, a $95 million home, and a $75 million home in Bel Air, and a $74.5 million compound transfer in the Bird Streets. We'd say the one is in the right hands. I don't know the Bird If anyone is going to be able to sell it, it's going to be these two. Let's see. Capture the imagination of the elite in the LA area. After all, this kind of home will never be seen around their town again. That's your rock, that your, your Rothschild Rockefeller crib. So if you got if you got a billion, would you spend three hundred forty million on a house? That's too big for just me and you. Uh, Even yeah. with one kid, that's too much. We can have both of our families in there and still have too much space. It's like I would want a condensed down version of that for us. Yeah. A small, a little salon, yes, but nothing as a full. You know what I'm saying? Two bowls. You know what I'm saying? A, a little spa area, a spa area. You want everything in your house, but that is too big. For that's me. that's on another you know, level. Way, that's way a, too much. That's another level. But Bruh. I love the design. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. I love you know the creativity that was put behind it. I like nice things. I love the sculptures, and I really like the chandeliers. For sure. The light fixtures are like, oh, they just make your house and whatever that place is stand out. Go crazy. Yes. The furniture, the video room. Crazy. Oh, my gosh. The movie theater. 36 the seats. You got to fool me. You get all the new releases. You got it. Because I'm sure by that point, you fought the house, you got all kind of connections. You hear me? Yeah. And your connections got connections. That's, that's. It was nice. It was just too much for us. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 10 million for us. You know what I'm saying? No, 20. 20 million? Okay. 20, 20, I 25. I got you. Because you want everything in the house you want. I don't want to have to go to a gym. I don't want to have to go to a spa. I want it already right there and just call the masseuse over to come to me. Yeah. Steam room, sauna, workout room, world, you know. World all the pool. above, all the yes. dresses, bro. Fire pit, pool. Be so hard to and leave your. Then it'd be, some. It'd be hard to leave I your know, own like, palace, I know, like I don't want to leave home today. A studio, so yeah. Wow. You can see it. You can be it. I do. You can achieve it. I do. Visualize, guys. Visualize what you cannot see. That's the only way you're gonna get there. That's right. Create your world. Bye bye. Yeah.